This is a sponsored video. Just to let you know. Boom, welcome to Games Night. We're playing Transformers. The trading card game. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, you've never played before. I'm no. guessing you've never played before. So I'm gonna show you how to play Transformers, the trading card game. We're gonna start with the, um, this, the, uh, what's it called, the starter set? The two player starter set. And once we've got the rules down, we're gonna open some packs and play with the full set of cards. So we split them between us. Who have you got? I've got the OG Optimus Prime and his dear friend, Ironhide. Ironhide. Awesome. I've got Bumblebee and Red Alert. Red Alert. I don't remember Red Alert from the old cartoons. He was uh, probably in there. There was a lot of them. Maybe, like an, maybe um, a fire car? I <laughs> don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, oh, man. I used to love Transformers. I watched so much of it as a kid. Transformers was pretty... It was it pretty was, good. It was my jam. Well, the first thing you do is draw three cards. <gasps> Start the game with three cards. In a full game, you'd have 25 stars to spend on Transformers. Ooh. Um, but we're splitting the starter set. So um, we've only got, what, 12 each? Actually, good. you've got 13. So um, it's maybe... Optimus Prime. Optimus he's, Prime. He's the, he's the OG OP. He's the boy. Right. They, one of the things about this game is the guys start off in their alternate form in this case, cars and trucks. Uh, but you can turn them over. What's your, can you do your best transforming noise? <laughs> Into their robot form, where they have different special rules and abilities. So is this not their like disguise form? Yeah, although they're not all disguises, are they? Like the Insecticons don't really disguise themselves it's as pretty... giant mecha insects. I don't know, on some planets that might fly. <laughs> yeah. uh, just unfortunately on Earth, it's not a great disguise. Not so good. Because right. wasn't that the idea with the Dinobots? Then they what disguised. What's the deal with the Domino bots? Because they disguised as dinosaurs. <laughs> Did they come here millions of years ago and try to blend in with the locals? It was something like that, because that's why they, they had in their inferior technology, right? That's yeah. why their voice boxes were. But why did they never like update themselves? I don't know. They were still. They were a bit stupid, robots. weren't they? Um, they very rarely turned into their robots. <laughs> no, because the big dinosaurs were just much more fun. Yeah. Well, you may not randomly see who goes first, but. Um, I think I'll go first to explain. Ooh, truly game. very random. So in your turn, um, you draw a card, and then you can play one action and one upgrade from your hand. But whoever goes first isn't allowed to do that because of the advantage of going first. Okay. Um, and you can also transform one of your bots. Um, I'm going to transform Red Alert nice. into robot form. And then I can choose one of these guys to attack with, and I'm going to attack with Red Alert. Because in his bot form, he's got a massive attack of five. Wow, that's really high. Which seems good to me. He's coming in, I'm going to tap him to attack, and I can choose which of your Transformers I attack, mm -hmm. unless one of them is tapped, and then I have to attack a tapped one. Um, so I'm going to attack Ironhide. Oh no, not Ironhide. I'm going to prey on the weaker of the two, the two red trucks coming at me. Clang. <laughs> uh, when we fight, we draw two cards off the top of our deck to add a random amount to our attack and defense values. Ooh. So you're looking for the coloured icons. Uh, red is for attack, blue is for defence. I drew a handheld blaster that's got defensive upgrades. That doesn't help me at all because I'm attacking. You ignore the card text for this purpose. Mm -hmm. That's only when you play a card from your hand. And I get plus two attacks, so I'm up to attack seven. Wow, so I scored plus two to my attack, but that's meaningless mm -hmm. uh, because I'm defending. But I did get plus one to my defence, so I'm up to defence four. Okay, cool. So the difference here is um, I got seven against four, so I'm up by three. Okay, so I take... So you take three hit points. Ironhide only has seven, so he's that's like a, half dead. That's a big hit. Then these cards go into your scrap pile, and that's the end of my turn. Nice. Okay, so it's my go, mm -hmm. so I get to draw a card, and now if I'm going second, am I allowed to play cards? Yes, so second player can play one action or one upgrade. Right. And then when we get into the game properly, uh, after this point, we can both play one action and one upgrade every turn. Okay, I am going to... Oh, <laughs> Transform <man. laughs> Optimus Prime. He's he's the coolest. Everyone knows that. I still like. I know this movie doesn't hold up. Like the, the original Transformers, the movie is fantastic. Like in my mind, the scene where Optimus Prime comes to the rescue. Like all the Autobots <laughs> are getting murdered and they're just getting smashed aside by the Decepticons. And then Optimus Prime comes in and this like cheesy like. 80s rock album the starts power, playing. power rock, yeah. <laughs> and he just drives in and smashes them all. And in my mind, in my hazy, rose-tinted <laughs> memory, it's one of the greatest movie scenes of all the time. The most heroic moments ever. How much did you cry in the Transformers oh, movie? Oh, man. 
It was brutal. I, I don't know if we've ever talked about this in a video. But <laughs> my God, that was a harrowing experience watching Transformers the movie for the first time as a kid. Because oh. they, they took the risky strategy of killing effectively every major character you'd watched up until that Kill point. Kill everyone you love. <laughs> yeah. And everyone said, dies. you love these new ones now. <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't love those new ones. I did love them. <laughs> Well, Optimus Prime is here to imagine the power metal in your head. Yeah. Uh, so, um, when do I play a card? Uh, so, before you attack, okay. you can transform and play cards in any order you like. Okay. I'm going to play. So, Optimus Prime is here. Mm -hmm. Cue the music, because he's going to leap into oh, battle. Oh, perfect! <laughs> he gets plus three to his attack until the end of the turn. Oh, man, he's got angry. He doesn't like me beating up Ironhide. And he's going to come and punch Red Alert for upsetting Ironhide. Yeah. He's got a special rule, which is bold, mm. which allows him to flip one additional battle card when he... Oh, nice. When he attacks. So he gets to flip over three battle yeah, cards. Yeah, you do. So I'll flip two. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He's, he's just gone... <laughs> he's, gone he's gone savage. So he had six attack because he yeah. leapt into battle, plus one, two, three, taking up to nine attack. Nine attack. Okay. While in my red alert in robot form, he sacrifices all defense for attack. He has <laughs> okay. zero defense. I did pull one card, this primary laser, which gives me plus one defense. So um, you came in with nine. I defend one. So I've just taken eight damage. I only have 10 hit points. Wow. Angry uh, Prime. Prime is very upset that you, <sighs> you entered and dinked it's, it is just like the movie. It is. <laughs> yeah, just what a killer. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put. Armour plating on red alert. <laughs> he's like... Nice. He's retreated. He's armouring up. Trying he's... to patch up some of those little holes. <laughs> yeah. And my action I'm going to play is a repair bay. Oh, okay. Uh, which will allow me to heal one damage. Nice. So he's gone back in for a refit. He's got eight hit points remaining. Um, so Bumblebee was also... My final thing, he's going to transform into robot mode. <gasps> and now he's coming in. He's going to attack Optimus Prime because he can't attack Ironhide because he's not tapped. So I come in with four... Ooh. Attack, plus nothing from the battle deck. Uh, I flip over two. <gasps> so, I flipped over a white symbol, Ben. Ah, what does that mean? So that means you can draw two more cards <gasps> and add them to your score. But you can only trigger the white ability once. Ah, uh, okay, so I can't activate it a second time. No. Uh, so I have got a single blue defense icon. So that puts me up to three defense. Okay, I have four attacks with no extras. So I dink you... For one little damage. Ouch. Stonk. Right, and then I'm done. Because now both of you guys are tapped, mm -hmm. do they both now untap at the end of the turn? So when once we've both attacked with everyone, yeah. um, then everyone untaps. Right, okay. I'm going to start out by, I'm going to put some armor plating also on my injured, <laughs> yeah. injured bot, as he's a, bit, a little bit sad. I will then play... Ready for action, and I'm going to untap oh, Optimus wow. Prime. Untap a character that has ten or fewer stars. Nice. So there's ten a, stars or fewer. Because there is another version of Optimus Prime who's stronger, but he costs more than ten stars. Right. Okay. Well, Optimus Prime is also going to swing a second time at, and so now because both of you guys are tapped, I can attack you, either. You right? can choose. Yeah. So I guess I'll, I'll hit Red Alert. Because yeah. he hurt Ironside. <laughs> yeah. So I still get to flip over three cards. You do, yeah. Optimus Prime in his robot form. So um, I've scored one additional damage and I get to activate this. You get the white effect as well. So that's two damage. So that's five damage in total. Okay, now I've flipped two oranges. <gasps> so um, I get no bonuses. I have my armor plating for defense one against your three, four, five. So I take four more damage. Five, six, seven, eight. That's enough. He's been KO'd. Bam. Boom. So he goes into the KO pile away from here. And I'm down to one bot. So normally this would just go back to my turn. But I don't have any untapped bots. Right. So instead, now what happens is it continues to be your turn. And you can keep attacking with your um, the rest of your ready bots. But you can't play any more cards from your hand. Okay. Okay, so Ironhide, mm -hmm. he's going to speed to the rescue as well. Not really the rescue. Optimus no, Prime doesn't gonna, need rescue. He's going to pile in. He's going to pile in <laughs> yeah. and run you over. Nice. Okay, so he's coming in with an attack of three. Okay, so Bumblebee. Bumblebee is tough, one, which means he may flip one more battle card than normal when defending. Oh. So the opposite of Optimus Prime's bold ability. Oh. I pulled a white, so I get two more. And then two blues. Wow. So I get I go up to defense four. 
Uh, I'm only attack three. Oh, it's Bumblebee. He's he's tough. He can handle a bit of Ironhide. Bumblebee, he just he got run over, but he's fine. He's fine. Right, and then that's the end of the turn. So I think we've given a good example of how the game flows. We could keep playing and repeating the cycle. Everyone untaps, and then we go back to drawing cards, playing cards, and fighting. Uh, I feel like you have an overwhelming advantage now, though. Because of Optimus Prime. <laughs> because of Optimus Prime going on the rampage. You, you know how to play now, so let's open some packs, see what cards we get, and build some decks. Hooray! Yay! Here we go. So I decided to be the um, Decepticons. The <gasps> evil Decepticons. Oh, no, Ben. <laughs> Not the Decepticons. Oh, see. Yeah. They're the worst. <laughs> and you're the brave Autobots. Exactly. The heroic Autobots. <laughs> I was really, oh, we got so many good cards in this pack. Like, um, we got like four different Insecticons. Do you remember these guys? I love, I love the Insecticons. They were so weird because they just were giant insects. Like, they didn't even transform into tiny insects. They were no. like these giant ones. They were, so I was really tempted to go for the, the swarm of, of low tier, low health Decepticon, um, Insecticons. But then I realized I had Air Commander Starscream, who gets like a bonus for having lots of planes with him. Ooh. So I was going to have like Thundercracker and Skywarp and Starscream and just do the, the plane squad. Oh my god. Do you remember um, this guy, Ramjet? Ramjet. Like the others when they transformed, they oh, just had like... Oh yeah, because the the nose of his plane just turns into a giant hat. hat. Yeah, he's got like this cone head. <laughs> uh, which was fantastic. <laughs> All the other ones, they kind of looked interchangeable. They were just kind of different coloured plane jet, baddies. Jet, jet monsters. But he, I always remembered him being different because he had the weird little um, cape. His wings oh. were like a cape. Or like fin fins coming out of the <laughs> side of his so legs. He was so goofy. <laughs> he was the goofy one. And his big pointy hat. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's always a look. And on the toy, it was the, the nose cone was like made of rubber. I don't know if you remember that. Like I, I, I he was the only plane I had, and he had this rubber nose cone. And after a while, like the dog had chewed it, and it just got like <laughs> bent and dinked. And so he just had this sort of wonky sad oh, hat on. Oh, the sad plane. <laughs> yeah. So I decided not to use them, and instead, I'm going for my favourite combo. It is Megatron. And Starscream. The ultimate fighting duo. <laughs> yeah. Like Starscream, this is a different one. He's the scheming second in command. Ooh, oh, I like that. That's how I always remember Starscream. Exactly, not as an air wing commander. No, just like a, a schemer. <laughs> yeah, a snivelling little whinger, basically. Hey, Megatron! Uh, so um, I'm not too sure what they're going to be good at. Starscream seems to be able to flip. He can be tough in robot form, or he's bold in plane form. Oh, that's pretty good. So pretty flexible. And Megatron, living weapon. He can turn into a tank. <gasps> but... When he's a robot, he's got an attack of seven. Wow, that's really strong. And he, all of his upgrade slots can be weapon up. Right? So he can have three Ooh, weapons instead of a weapon and armor or utility. Terrifying. So I'm gonna try him out. Some cool guys turned up in here as well. Most importantly was the bigger and better Optimus Prime. Oh man. Who just seems absolutely terrifying. So he comes in at a grand total of 12 stars. Ooh, that's like half your points. So he's, he's a bit of a fighter a bit of a brawler, like very damaging in truck form, mm. uh, not as tough, but he gets to flip over a d even more cards oh, when he's fighting. Oh, he two instead of one. Nice. And there's a few other like classics in here, like we had Jetfire and Prowl. Um, oh, I always liked, um, what was his name, uh, with, the, with the thing over his mouth, who was like the tech guy. Wheeljack. Uh, Wheeljack is also also here. So there's ah. a, real, like, a real posse of some old school guys. But Classic. I went for the most old school team possible. Mm -hmm. Some would say they are so old school, they are prehistoric. <laughs> I can see where this is going. And it is the Dinobots. Yay! It is uh, Grimlock, Swoop, and Slug. Yes, he was always called Slug, wasn't always he? Always called Slug. <laughs> Never uh, had a different name. <laughs> the Dinobots are fantastic. Anyone who didn't like Dinosaurs and Transformers when they were a child. They, they knew their target audience, didn't they? They were like, kids who like robots, what else do they like? Dinosaurs! <laughs> I'll make millions! <laughs> yeah. uh, and we've got it. We've got the team. Oh, oh, Classico. What does Grimlock do? When he turns into a dinosaur, all your other Dinobots get bold three. Oh, oh so it's like um, he combos with the other Dinobots. Yeah. Awesome. And then when he's in a robot form, when he KOs an enemy, your opponent it's... chooses one of their other characters and puts the overkill onto them. Yeah. So, are you ready? Are you ready to transform? And roll out. Transform and roll out. Oh my god, how did I, not, how did I miss that? <laughs> this is a more complicated deck now as well. We've, I pulled the cards from it. Because each of these packs, 
you get one character, one large character card, which is like a foil design with shininess on it, mm-hmm. and you get a pack of um, seven battle cards. Right. So I open them all up, and we've 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 built these decks. We don't really know what we're doing, <laughs> so they're not they're probably not great. <laughs> but we'll see who has randomly built the best one. That's okay. Right. Should we rock paper scissors to see who goes first? That is, is what the instructional video said to do. Really? Yes, okay. it says, Mevatron, we must use the old Earth custom. <laughs> Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. <laughs> okay, sure, I'm game. Okay. Uh, so we'll say on go. Okay. Three, two, two one, go. go. Three, two, two one, go. go. Oh, classic. Classic. You won. Okay, uh, so I can't play any cards when I go first. Yeah, I'm going to attack with Starscream. He's going to transform into a robot and say, Starscream attack. Let's shoot at Slurg. Oh, no, not Slug. Give him two shots. Ow. Oh, nice. I pulled um, three extra attack. <gasps> so I've got one defense, but I get to draw two more cards. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, they did not. Uh, so I've got a grand total of four defense. I've got five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but I'm bold. I should grab another one. Oh. Uh, just eight. Okay, so uh, that's four damage in total mm. then. Oh, the Dynabots are pretty tough though, aren't they? Yeah, they're kind of tanky, but that's a big hit. Big hit to begin with. Well, I've only got two guys. they got to hit hard. Uh, so I'm going to start out by... I'm going to play a card down. I'm going to play it onto Grimlock. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a power sword. It gives him bold three. Wow. Oh, that's fitting as well. He always used to have a power sword. And he's going to transform over into Grimlock the uh, robot. <laughs> mm-hmm. He okay. has to attack Starscream. Yeah. So... Flip three more battle cards. I have to flip five, five cards. cards. Wow, that is strong. It is at the moment. I get plus three to my damage, and, and a white. So two more flips. Two more cards. So that's plus four to my damage. That's ten damage that I'm. Wow. I'm swinging out with. And I flipped no extra defense. Ooh. So I have a base defense of one. I'm just taking nine damage. Nine hits. Grimlock is furious. Wow. You just upset Slug. Grimlock smash. Grimlock smash! <laughs> oh, Grimlock. Oh, wow. Okay, Starscream's in trouble. I'm going to play Medic! Which allows me to repair two damage from a character. Ooh. Medic! And then I'm going to give Starscream Scrapper Gauntlet as oh. an armor upgrade. Okay. It gives him plus one armor. And when I equip this to a character, scrap an em- enemy weapon. Oh, ouch. Which means I destroy your power source. So you, you cut me up, but then I transform into a plane. You grab your sword <laughs> fly off with it. Wow. To a medic. This, okay, wow, it's just like an episode <laughs> right here. Yeah. I'm going to transform Starscream into a robot. Now he's landed, he's getting medicked up. Being a robot makes him tough. Okay. So that might keep him alive. Right. Megatron has to attack Grimlock. Okay. Four, seven. Ouch. Plus... Two more. Ooh, I got nothing. So that's nine against my two. So that's that's seven damage. Ouch. Ooh, that's good. Hoi. Then it's over to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to... Is it wrong that in my head, every time it stops being one person's turn and goes to the other person's turn, I hear... <laughs> wow, just like a little sting. The, like... Thing, the, the logo spins round. Uh, so I'm going to play an upgrade down mm-hmm. on Slug. Uh, he's got a flamethrower now. Oh, nice. Which gives him bold too. Uh, cool. He's also going to transform. Oh, wow. So he's he's losing all his shields for pure attack. Pure damage. Uh, he's going to attack Starscream. Okay. So I draw three cards because I'm tough. And I only draw two. I got a red and oh. a, an orange and orange for nothing. And a white for two more cards. Also gave me nothing. <laughs> okay, so I added... Oh, I've got bold two, which mm. lets me flip two more. And I drew a white card, which allows me wow. to do another two. Luckily, no more. Still. So that is nine damage in total. I have two armor. So I take a seven, which is actually exactly enough to KO me. If one less damage, I would have lived. Pow! Take Ooh. that. Starscream. No! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... 
Megatron should have died first, really, because I really wanted to see Starscream in power. Yeah, that's um, always the most fun when everyone thinks Megatron's dead and Starscream just. Go, yeah, he spends so long now. ranting about how he's so much better. Um, <laughs> or Megatron's like stood behind him. Yeah. It's because he opened oh. the opened the fight. He had to had to go down. Oh, first. that's very upsetting because now I have a card I can't play that I was really looking forward oh, to playing. Oh, no. It's called Peace Through Tyranny. And it's Megatron going, <laughs> It says, you may KO one of your characters that costs six stars or more. If you do, take another turn. Ooh, so Meg wow. like, Starscream could have been crippling, limped along, crippled on one hit. Oh. And Megatron's just like, you failed me for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> and it just takes another go and storms That would have been terrifying. Yeah. Okay, so now you can attack with Swoop. And then it's the end of the turn. Okay. So um, I'm allowed to play one additional card? Uh, no, because... Um, now it's still the same turn, right, so you can't play okay. any more cards, but you can continue attacking. Okay. I think we're just going to go go ham. Yeah. And I need to flip over into the robot form. <laughs> and he's going to attack. Uh, so okay. he's got five attacks. Okay, I have flipped two extra armor, so I'm up to four. I flipped one extra attack, so that puts okay. me up to six. I take two. Ah, oh, pitiful. <laughs> God, I might throw. I think you have to have a really bad cold to do a Megatron voice because he's all crackly and gravelly, isn't he? It is I, Megatron. Ooh, it's pretty good. Uh, right, then everyone untaps. Everyone untaps. And then um, it's my turn. I go first in the new the new turn. I've got some actions and some upgrades. Okay, I'm going to give Megatron a, a grenade launcher, <gasps> uh -oh. which is a Plus four attack, but after I attack, discard this card. And then my action will be a backup plan. Discard your entire hand and draw three new cards. Oh, jeez, okay. Because <laughs> this is, the plan A went pretty wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's last week's dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then uh, you can attack. Now, do I try and shoot big and knock out Grimlock? Or do I take the safe option of just trying to, like, knock out Slug? Slug's actually pretty tough. So yeah, let's try and finish off Grimlock. He's the leader. He oh, makes no. them all better. Not Grimlock. Megatron's coming in. And he pulls one extra attack. Ooh. So he goes up to seven, eight, twelve. For twelve. Oh, God, I don't know. If... <gasps> wow. Okay, so I pulled three defense, giving me a five defense in total. That means that you did seven damage. But that is seven plus the seven you've already taken is enough to knock him out. That grenade launcher, if I hadn't played it, wouldn't thunk. have... Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Grimlock, no! <laughs> oh, Grimlock. Uh, so I'm going to play Reinforced Plating. Ooh. Down on uh, Slug. And he's going to attack. Okay, so um, he's bold two. So he draws four cards. I get one extra defense. I'm defense three. So I have one additional attack, but I do have a white, which mm -hmm. lets me take two more cards. Give me another attack. So that takes me up to eight. Eight against my uh, three leaves me with five. Okay, so I've taken seven damage. I've got seven seven health left. And then and can attack with swoop. swoop is also just going to fly in. Mm. Uh, well, not fly. Run in. Because right, he's, he's in robot form. He's in robot This is form. something the Dinobots never really did. They never really did it that much. They were usually staying as dinos. Yeah, I kind of like it because in their dino form, they're a lot tougher. Yeah. But in this, they're very aggressive. And I quite mm. like the sort of aggro, aggro build. Nice. So uh, Swoop's coming in. And he had plus two attack. Ooh, very nice. I need to get some armor on Megatron. Uh, oh no, two attacks. Uh, so, so that is seven damage. Minus my two is another five. He's only got two hit points left. <laughs> He's... I've noticed a flaw in my two-bot strategy. They have been outnumbered and outmaneuvered by... Yeah, because I have these cards. I can't play many cards because I only have one turn, and then, my, then I'm done. Yeah. Maybe I need to um, swap Starscream out for two smaller Decepticons to go with Megatron. Give him some extra, extra meat. Hmm. Oh, well, I have to play this no matter what it does. I've pulled the fusion cannon of Megatron. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds bad. <laughs> And I can play an action. I'm going to play Plasma Burst to do Ouch. two damage to Slug. Ow. So the Plasma Cannon, Fusion Cannon, sorry, says when it's on Megatron, he has Pierce 3. Ah, oh, okay, so it will always... Um, so do, always do at least three damage. Ouch. And he gets plus one attack as well. So he now goes... He gets plus one. 
from the battle card. So he goes to seven, eight, nine attack. I flipped a white card. Mm -hmm. Do I now shuffle my? That's right. Deck? When you run out of battle cards, you shuffle your scrap pile and um, keep drawing. And one, two. Oh, so actually, that that's one, two, three extra armor. Three extra armor. Mm -hmm. Taking up to three. Uh, when I had seven, eight, nine. Attack, so you take six damage. Six damage, ooh. Um, which, which is not quite enough to oh, kill me. That puts not. me on one hit point You're, left. You take it, oh wow. 12 damage out of 13. Okay, so, Slug, he's in a bad way. Mm. He's really, really injured. He's le leaking lubricant. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> but he's coming for you, Ben. Uh, he is going to... Use his jaws of steel. Ooh. Play on Dinobots only. Nice. And he's going to come and bite you. He wasn't famous for his biting. He was more of a... Um, he was like a rammer. Yeah, he? like bashing people. But little do you Horns know... Horns of steel. He has some little teeth in there. <laughs> uh, which makes him bold two for this. Ooh. So it makes him bold two, which lets uh. me flip an additional... Oh, and the nice thing there is that is on a utility upgrade. So you can stack that with a weapon. Okay. Normally... You can only have one weapon, but right. this is like a weapon that counts as a utility. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I get to flip <laughs> six. six cards, yeah. So I flip my two one, and pull nothing. Two, three, four, five, oh, no. six. Oh my god, that and is a white a, one, so you get two more. <laughs> that is a lot of orange that I see right here. Wow. See, that gives me a grand total of one, two, three, four, five additional attack. Plus my 11. six facing, 11 damage. Wow. Okay, well, my two armor is not going to cut it. Megatron has been flamed and bitten. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> oh, I am defeated. Okay, I need to rethink rethink my loadout. Dinobots, yeah. they're hardy, hardy they creatures. Are. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because you can, um, when you're building your deck, you might want a card in there because it's a great card, does a great thing. But some of these, like um, this improvised shield, this has two orange icons on it. Yeah, once the... Like, building your deck around what the icons are. Mm. Because you could try and snack for, sort of like, a really aggressive deck that mm -hmm. just has all of all the... All the oranges. Or, likewise, you can tank it up with loads of tanky characters and loads of blue cards. Yeah. It's cool. Bam. Right. Bam. Well played. Good game. Once, just like the cartoons, the Dinobots chase off. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> just chase you off. Screen. And they're just they're just bickering all the way. All this the way was your fault, Starscream. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in charge. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and these guys, they go and they just sort of go and nuzzle at you know injured Grimlock. Oh, uh, he'd be alright. Grimlock smash. <laughs> Grimlock smash. <laughs> Ow. Awesome. Cool. Well, catch you next time. Bye. Bye.